Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we discussed about our XPath, and in this video, our plan is to do some more example on XPath. So here is a first example. So let's say you have this uh, code snippets, and then your question is, what XPath to select the complete document? Okay, so that means in other words, if I ask you the question, if you are in Windows directory, what if, you know what the, what is the structure that is going to going to uh, uh, going to select all the content of the C directory the answer is C colon dash right and same thing we can apply here and the answer will be slash AAA okay so this is the node root node if I do slash AAA it's going to select everything on the uh, HTML page uh, consider our example whatever we are doing before right so if I want to uh, choose the complete HTML page on XPath is equal to slash HTML okay so check it so, so do you see like you know, it is selecting everything if you want to say that okay I want to choose uh, the, the this element okay so slash HTML and then I'll go to body then I'll go to table okay slash table so if I click on find now so it is going to selecting complete table and if I just do slash TR then it is going to select the first row okay sorry TR cannot do anything because it uh, is under table we have t body okay and then we have tr so now we should be fine see this is the way that you are selecting the first row of the table okay so this is how you are basically going to select uh, you know uh, in the in your in your x path okay so next question now consider the uh, following snippets and i want you to write an x path which will select the element in number seven so I want to select this element okay so let's travel the um, the node so it will be slash AAA then I'll go all the way to D because you know so this is you know this is B C and then the this line seven number B is existing under slash DDD so therefore slash DDD and then slash B B B so this is the answer so that is going to select X part under slash B B B so the third question consider this is the element and I want you to select the element in red okay so the answer is slash AAA and then how do you basically know we have if I do BBB then it is probably going to select the first element okay but I want to go to the number four to do that what you do we can give another thing something like a index here and that index is four so this is one way of selecting the uh, element in red and another way of selecting the element in red is slash AAA slash BBB then what you can do you can use a function that function is called last so this is why I, I was telling you that XPath is some kind of a mini programming language because it supports functions so this is exactly where you use function then when you are going to use this thing say for example you are generating a dynamic table okay so for example you are generating a table whatever you are seeing here this is generated from a database and if my database has four product then it's going to show me product one two three four if it's tomorrow is going to 50 product then it's going to show me product one two three four to fifty then in that case if you are locating your element last element using bbb 50 okay then when you have 100 products then this thing is going to fail because it's not going to select the last one so in that case it is if you if it will be more generic if you are going to choose huge function and if you write your x path like this and also there is another way of doing this thing you don't need to give AAA as long as you give double slash BBB say 4 this is, again is going to work because double slash is going to do it's going to search anywhere it is finding BBB okay so BBB 4 is going to you know it's not going to go and this is more flexible okay because it does not really depend on on the complete uh, you know nodes okay so therefore slash BBB is you know this is another way of of, of writing this uh, you know XPath for this thing so let's do one more example okay so so let's say uh, you know you have your uh, HTML is something like this very simple HTML and you want to locate this element using XPath so basically what you see this input right so in this tag what we are saying so this input is called an element so the element name here is input 
and inside that element input we have multiple attributes this is attribute number one okay this is attribute number two this is attribute number three and each attribute has something name and value pair okay so for example in case of this attribute the attribute name is type and the attribute value is password so if you have this kind of scenario then you can write your xpath yourself so the xpath will be slash slash then you give the element name the element name is input then you give a bracket okay so here what you have to give you have to give the attribute name okay so whatever the attribute name you give at a rate and in this case the attribute name is type so therefore it's called type and then do open a single quote inside a single quote you give the value and the value is password okay so using this technique you can also locate your xpath this formula is something like this xpath is equal to slash slash element name okay so whatever the element that you find then uh, put in bracket and then add a rate attribute name is equal to in single quote value so this is what is kind of a generic thing and also if you do not want to match any input you just see like you now what attribute name is something like this value then what you can do you can do slash slash just give star and then do the remaining thing so this is what is you have called a regular expression okay is that in that case if instead of input if tomorrow there is a div here then this thing is going to match that div as well okay the reason i'm telling you this is that this is basically making your things more flexible if the problem with the the absolute identification is that you know if you do everything using absolute path if some html or something changed then your xpath is going to fail okay so you cannot selenium cannot locate using the xpath that what you were given okay so therefore you get used with this thing so let's do some example let's say go to this submit button click right click and go to inspect element with firebug i am seeing something like this input id is equal to this thing so in this case since your id is there then you don't need to go for xpath just write id is equal to submit 906 okay so this is this is how you're going to do but if you want to write the same thing okay using the xpath that whatever i shown you right now then it should be the element so let me basically copy this thing if i can copy html okay so let's take it to put it here paste okay so this is my html right so what i'm going to do so my element name is again input so therefore i'm going to write slash 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 input and then what i'm going to do i'm going to get the brackets then i can give at a rate the attribute name is type then I can give in but this xpath is going to work okay so this is how you do and let's say we go to a complex uh, application like orbis.com uh, so let's I want to find out what is the xpath for this thing so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to inspect element with firebug so that it will take me to that value and then as I say I just, just copy HTML and get it to my notepad or something so that I can see okay so basically in this case what I have I have already something called name okay so therefore I just give name is equal to hotel check-in I don't have to really create an xpath but still if you want to create an xpath okay the xpath here will be slash slash the element name is input that's a tag name then bracket then the attribute name is under type is equal to text